of the farus. Shed roof to the slate room, slate hill. Very old. This is what it looked like. It looked like about 20 years ago. Built in 1888, a one room school. And it was built by this man's dad. He probably looked much like him. This is Park O'Hein, and his father's name would have been uh, Thomas O'Hein from the Banahoe area. This photograph was taken for magazine in 1954. Built in 1888 by Thomas Hines of Banhart. Although it had only one room, it was a true teacher school first. John Mahan, known as Master Mahan from Chilligan, taught here for a while <coughs> and lived in the residence up in um, Caracullo. And Mrs. Uh, and Miss Greeny taught here too, and they would have taught in the late 1920s or early 1930s. And then the Miss Curley from East East Slido taught there until it closed. It was the one teacher school then before it closed, for many years before it closed. She had a brother, Eugene Curley, who was also a teacher. His wife died, and uh, she raised his family over here, and they went to school over here. I knew one of them, uh, Owen Curley. He became a BA, he went to college in Better Man, the university, I think, it ran. Uh, he was a good footballer and played with Lacken. And I didn't see him in the last 40 years, so I don't know what happened to him. Now, Miss Curley returned to her native East when she retired here, around 1960, and the school closed. I think another one of them would be Noreen Curley, and another one would be Mara, I'm told. Now, how did this school get called Heathfield School? Uh, although it was in the townland of Ahali, I think Yellow Hill School or whatever, uh, Heathfield is in the next townland of the tower. So I suspect that um, <coughs> the house over there had some connection with it. Now we know that uh, uh, William Roger Timer, after returning from the war in uh, Sebastopol down there, the charge of the late three years he was in it, that he became a member of parliament. And he had something got to do with this school here, I'd say, because he owned land back here for a long time. And uh, it was, uh, he would have known the area, so he probably had something got to do with it. He was in the British government, and this school was built by the British government, not by our own government. Our own government didn't take over until 1922. Before that, it was the British system. He treated school in the townland of Bahalik. Now this is the Barren Hill Road and over in this area here is the Boulder Canab Mountain. It is situated, I am told, to the east side of the old Valley Castle Road. Now, using the name dictionary, Boulder means a dairy place place where cows were milk. In summer, when new grass had grown in rough pasture, they drove their cattle uh, and cows up there to graze. They milked them there. If the distance was fair from home, they built a hut and lived there and headed their cattle. They did, they did the same on the Alpine slopes uh, in Europe. Now, how does the name come about? Well, we explained what Buda meant, a dairy place or a place where cows were milk. Kin would come from Chan, which means head or top. And Ab would be a contraction of the Irish word Abba, A-B-A-R, pronounced Abba, which meant a puddle of hot manure or a wet marshy place. So Buda to Abba may have been the original name, and it would be contracted eventually to Buda to 
meaning the wet milking or dairy place. Now turf was cut here too. And we used this road here, I don't know when it was built, to cast the turf from the Bullock and Odd Mountain. So that it is. And this is the old Belly Castle Road. And it crosses this new road and goes down to Barn Hill, down this direction, and out where Boyd says the land. I thought it came on this new road that had branched off it, but no, it went straight down there, as we see. And crossed this old road and the way down towards Boyd. It has been obliterated now. Green Road, the old Valley Castle Road. Now we'll get a further look at this area. The farmer spreading spectral hydro <coughs> or Florian <coughs> of land. <coughs> He's in the Darn Hill, but this is the Ulkinab area. According to farmers, I think this is going to become a thing of the past too.